Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Shari Robertson and I'm a speech language pathologist and an author and a speaker and a professor, but I'm also a mother and a sister and a wife and a daughter and a cousin. My dear cousin, Dr. Gail Bird Groth, she was close as a sister, cherished by family and friends. Gail passed away from breast cancer two years ago. Her cancer was aggressive and relentless, but so was she. And Gail fought the tumors that invaded her body fiercely and brilliantly. But for more than 10 years, we all watched helplessly as treatment after treatment failed to eradicate that aggressive cancer. And finally, when it became clear that there were no other treatment options, Gail chose to enter hospice rather than continue a war that could not be won, that was taking such a terrible toll on her family. But she told me that she still had one regret, and that was that she would never have a chance to read a story to her future grandchildren. I could not cure Gail's cancer, and I could not prolong her life, but I could grant her this one wish. And so in just a very few, very short days, and in the waning hours of her life, we created a story together, a story about family and love and the continuation of life from season to season and generation to generation. We called it Grandpa's Woods. Now, Gail did not live long enough to see the book completed, but the very last communication I ever had from her, she said that she trusted me to bring the project to fruition and to do good with it. Now, that's a pretty tall order, and it was a little bit intimidating, but I got the book done, and that's why I'm recording this video, because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we are making a donation to breast cancer research for every copy of Gail's book that is purchased. Grandpa's Woods is a real place, set on the Groth family's heritage property in Wisconsin. And it stars Gail's own children, Emily, Stephanie, Jonathan, and of course Toby, their faithful doggy sidekick, who adds a little comic relief to the story. Together, they explore the four seasons, kicking leaves, making snow angels, catching butterflies, and they invite their readers to explore right along with them through a variety of built-in activities. For instance, the story includes friendly questions that encourage children to tell what they like to do in each season. And there's a special fruit hidden in each scene for children to seek and find. But the very best part of the story is the paper dolls of Emily, Stephanie, Jonathan, and Toby that come right along with the book. And there's clothing and accessories for each character and each season available for free download to extend the fun and learning. It really is a special book by a very special lady. I'm doing my very best to honor Gail's final wish to do good with her story. And I know that we could all use some light in these dark times. So perhaps this small act will help, bright, help brighten your world and that of a child that you love. You can find Grandpa's Woods at dynamicresources.net or on Amazon. And again, for each book we sell, we will make a donation to Breast Cancer Awareness in honor of Gail Bird Growth and every woman whose family has been affected by breast cancer. Thanks, everyone.